here with the beautiful Natalie Olbert at Professional Discount Supplies World Headquarters in Colorado Springs and we are going to tell you how to properly install a KTA 150 system. So here on the left we have our meter indicator box, uh, the KTA box as we call it. We've got 25 foot of cord, uh, you can also get 50 and 100 foot varieties, and then we have the KTA fan. The fan is uh, hopefully installed outside or in an attic. Uh, at this time, and Natalie's going to show you how to connect uh, the weather tight fitting to the fan itself. So you'll take that uh, black fitting at the top there. There's a nub that shows you that that um, uh, that is the top of the fitting. So you install that. Uh, you take the outside of the fitting, and with a quarter turn to the right, it is secure. Uh, then you'll run your cable outside uh, into the house, through attics, through drywall, wherever you need to. It's rated for outside exposure. Uh, to the meter indicator box itself. Uh, Natalie's going to remove what we call the doghouse cover at the bottom so that we can attach the cord. I'm going to take the cord itself and feed it through uh, the watertight strain relief fitting. Gonna move it down so give herself some space to work. Now there's a uh, circuit panel here. You can attach the red and black wires anywhere on that circuit panel. Uh, this is the most important step. You need to make sure that all these connections are secure and that you do not over tighten them um, as that can destroy the system. Here I would use a low torque screwdriver or in most cases a manual screwdriver if you have it with a small flathead bit. And that's all it needs. So you see this should not spin or move at all while you tighten it. If this is spinning that means you are over torquing the system and you're at risk of breaking your KTA meter indicator box. So Natalie gives all the wires a good tug to make sure that they're secure and now she'll reattach the doghouse cover with the four screws. Now the system is complete, um, so you'll need to mount uh, and plug in your KTA box. Oh, but first, as Natalie's reminded me, we'll need to adjust the watertight strain relief fitting. So this is another factor that you do not want to over tighten, so you can tighten it manually first, and if you need to, grab a crescent wrench. You can see there the watertight fitting closing in on the cable, uh, and then you give that cord a good tug to make sure uh, that nothing's going to unhinge it. Now you mount your box uh, and connect it to power. There's a six foot cord, so you can connect it pretty far. And now you will turn on the box itself. And uh, the fan will start up uh, outside or in the attic where you have it. And you see the needle on the meter is going to slowly rise. And you can see here that it's uh, it's been calibrated here at our warehouse, but you may need to, depending on airflow, uh, adjust that needle. So at the fulcrum of the needle, there is a small place for a flathead screwdriver. You'll need to use a non-magnetic screwdriver to adjust the needle. Uh, you want to ensure that your meter indicator is, uh, that the meter indicator needle is working properly. So adjust it about 10 degrees to the left and 10 degrees to the right just to make sure that it has movement. So there you can see to the left it moves and holds. And to the right it moves and holds. So now Natalie's going to center that needle Typically you'll want to do this centering a day or two after the system's been installed because um, issues with the system such as moisture in the soil uh, and other factors can have that needle move over time and once you adjust that needle you do not want to need to adjust it again uh, without doing a radon test. So wait about two or three days before you do that initial adjustment so that the soil can dry out. Uh, now your KTA system is set up in the next installment we will tell you what it means uh, when that needle is off.